Maya Roots in her new single, Asa Naman. The pop rock song is another collaboration between Maris and her real life partner, OPM icon Rico Blanco. And I got to speak with Maris and she told me what the song is about, what it's like working with Rico on her music, and what inspired her to create this song. It all started when uh, Rico encouraged me to release uh, Bis a Bisaya song. But then, back then, I wasn't that confident. And then there was one time we were our, we were on our way home. And then, uh, sabi ko sa kanya, uh, may naisip ako na line. It's something very relatable sa mga Bisaya. Because we always say this, like, siguro every day. It's, a, it's an expression. We, we always say the word, Puhon which means um, in God's time or soon, or when will I see you, Puhon. Parang ganun po yung meaning niya. So I thought of the line, Asa naman ka karon, kadugay ba sa Puhon? Which means, asan ka na ngayon, and where is your promise? Parang ganun siya. And then I sent that line to him. And then he just sent me a voice message. Sinabi, parang nirecord niya yung uh, melody ng, ng line. So, you know, from there we finished the song. It's actually our first collaboration na we both started the song na sinulat namin together. It's usually uh, there's an unfinished song and then we finish it together. This one naman, we really wrote it together. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the background of the song. Was it for a particular person or Well, actually it, it all just started with a feeling na um, being so stuck, feeling so stuck. Because, um, I mean, at the time, it was, it had been like a year into the pandemic. So I, that's how I wrote the verses. Well, actually, the chorus I wrote before pandemic, but then, nagkataon lang na nabaga yung feeling na ano. So the the verses, uh, it started like this. Uh, ayoko nang magtii, di ko na kaya. Sa tin kailangan na nawawala ka. I wrote that out of frustration, uh, dahil sa pandemic, feeling stuck, and you know false promises and all. Parang ganon na feeling. What was your working relationship like? Was there ever a point? I mean, that you guys would clash or bakit na naman? <laughs> right? I mean, meron mga ganon na na time. Uh, yeah, there were, I mean, honest, to be honest, there were moments na may times na hindi kami nag-agree sa isang, um, let's say, sa isang word or sa isang melody, but hindi naman madalas nangyayari. It's usually, uh, it's so easy to work with him because he's so generous. He teaches you everything that he knows. And um, he always, he usually wants, I mean, he always wants the best for his artists. So I, I think a lot of, as you said, a lot of people can actually relate uh, possibly to this song. Um, and, and the vibe, I mean, it has that nice, nice vibe that, you know, yes. you can be driving somewhere, you know, play this song. and but, you know, Yes, well, about... well, actually, I understand that feeling because growing up, I used to fly in and out to Cebu because of um, Sinulo. And every time I'm in Cebu, I always um, hear Bisaya songs. Hits, it's not just like, you know, parang Bisaya, it's, it's a hit song. Parang everyone knows the lyrics, everyone in Cebu knows the lyrics. So I'm so familiar with that feeling, that vibe, that Bisaya song vibe. It's, it just feels home to me. So that's how, parang yun din yung reason na nag-push sa akin to release a Bisaya song because um, the fact that I'm Bisaya, and I also want to be a part of the movement na my Bisayan pop culture. Kasi parang there are so many great artists there in Mindanao and Bisayas na oh, who wants to be uh, in the mainstream. So maybe I could just try to help a little. Okay, music video. I fell in love with it. It is beautiful. Thank you. Where Where did you shoot and who came up with, with the concept? Um, of your video. Kaming dalawa na lang ni Rico yung gumawa ng whole music video na yun. We both directed the music video. I styled everything. We look for a place that that's unique, that's that has a cool vibe to it. So we ha we found this um, camper and cabin location, which is really cool. Para siyang camp, camping vibe, camping theme. And then we thought of a storyline na parang 
um, there's this girl na waiting in vain, waiting for her date, and then he di so may put para bagay siya sa <laughs> sa song. Okay. Tapos, so based on your voice, um, on how you sound during this interview, you know, I know you're in a very very happy place, and wow. you know, <laughs> wow, di ba? And because it's only recently that uh, you decided to tell the world about mm-hmm. uh, Rico and and you know that that he is making you so happy and you guys are so in love and have you always mm-hmm. wanted i mean before your first collab have you seen Rico from afar and said no oh, parang type kita or something i mean did you was he ever <laughs> in the picture prior to your first collab no actually um fan po ako eh uh fan po ako ni Rico. I've never met him. I've never seen him perform. And then, I think everything just started, like, after our first collaboration. Never ko imagine to. Um, hindi namin to sinadya mangyari, but it just happened. What is it that you like most about him? And I would like to ask, you know, maybe what is it that you think um, he enjoys about you? Well, um, every time, kasi, ano po, uh, every time I release a song, there were all, there are always times na I feel disheartened or I feel pressured. Um, what if it's a flop? What if it's a fail? Parang ganun po ng mga mindsets. And then he would always tell me to always look on the brighter side and look, um, don't think of um, like now. Think of 10 years from what's going to happen 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Um, he would always tell me that music is forever. Your life with music is forever. So writing, po kasi, he lets me be it. Parang kapag may style ako, or my words ako na gusto, or my melody po ako na gusto, hahayaan niyo po ako. But like, lagi niyo po sinasabi na, oh, um, lagi kang mag-release ng song. You know what I mean? Parang... Um, always release songs because that's what makes a legend. Your viewers and your fans are excited as well, um, you know, to listen to more music from you. What's next from you? I will be really releasing more music soon. And then at the same time, I'll also be uh, shooting uh, series and movies. I'm going to be doing very, very interesting roles. And there's one role that a uh, super, super dream go go with, a very edgy role. Okay, well, thank you so much, Maurice, uh, for being so open, for being so candid, <laughs> for sharing not only your music, but your life and then your love life. Thank, thank, thank you, you, thank you, Dinpo, Miss Christine, and thank you for inviting me here. I had a great time. Well, coming up next on New Day, we get.